Hi everyone and welcome back if you're returning. If this is your first time clicking on one of my videos, hello and welcome and I really hope you do come back. So if this is your first time clicking on one of my videos, I'm a seer, so I tap into past, present and future energies. I'm a psychic medium and a healer. I'm an open channel for spirit. So whatever comes through in these messages come through. Chances are though, if you've been guided here, you are a twin flame because I am a twin flame myself. So all my messages do tend to be twin flame related for the time being anyway. Who knows what the future will hold, but right now I'm here to assist the Twin Flame Collective. So I begin all my readings the same way, which is by calling in my divine guidance and protection for myself and for you watching at home. So let's do that and then we'll have a chat about where we're going with this message, I think. Calling in my heavenly ancestors, my spirit guides, the archangels of love and light and the ascended masters of the highest pure divine light. I call you in now for your love, guidance and protection throughout as I bring forward a clear message for the Twin Flame Collective. Thank you. Archangel Michael, can you please surround my children, my dog, my home and myself in a golden bubble of God's protection at all times as I bring forward a clear message for the Twin Flame Collective. Might I also ask you, Archangel Michael, to surround whoever watches this message online, their home, their loved ones and pets, in a golden bubble of God's protection also as they watch this message. Thank you. Archangel Metatron, can I please ask that you stabilise the connection between myself and spirit, ensuring that only clear and concise messages can come through for the collective's highest and greatest good. And I forgot to say, sending my love, light and gratitude to you all first. So, sending love, light and gratitude to you all. And so it is. I think they'll forgive me. <laughs> okay. Let's clear the energy. I'm hearing a song and I don't have a clue. I don't even, I can't even get the words so the lyrics. It's like a something, like a something, like a hmm. I, I'm going to have to pass on this one. <laughs> I will wait till it comes back through. It's a strange, strange, I haven't, I've never heard this song before in my life. Unless maybe my guys can give me another song that might be, this must be maybe a song that means something to someone though. Hopefully I can come back through. So I'm using my unicorn deck tonight because I've had so much beautiful unicorn energy coming through it. In fact, yesterday I asked my unicorn guides who have been coming through a lot lately if they would do a beautiful healing session with me today because their healing is so beautiful over, over my energy. And this morning when I was in the middle of my prayer, I saw the unicorns come forward. And at that point, I just say to open my hands and I bowed my head and the unicorn spirit came so close, like literally nose to nose with me. And so I take that as a yes. So um, after this reading, I'm going to do a unicorn healing session. I'm going to ask beautiful Archangel Raphael to join me and any other animal spirits that wish to participate also. Um, so I'm going to do that after I finish this. So it's just a quick message, quick check in for the Twin Flame Collective. And then I'm going to do that healing session. And it was beautiful because then um, during my meditation yesterday, I I got so much um, love and support from my guides and from Archangel Jeremy, who is a personal guardian of mine. And um, they reminded me of something as well. They said to me, remember who you are. You are more than a twin flame. 
and I've been thinking about it all day today and they're so right, you know, like I know I'm doing this right now because I'm supposed to help twins to move into alignment and things, which I'm delighted to do. And I do it to, to the best of my ability and whatever I can do to help. Um, but I, I also am um, a lot of things and it also made me want to say that you're all also more than just a twin flame. You know, we're mothers, some of us are grandmothers, you know, teachers, nurses, healers, singers, artists, you know, doctors. We're all so many things, psychics, you know, the, so we're all so many things, empress, high priestess, earth angels, starseeds. We are more than just a twin flame. And that's, that's something to bear in mind. And I'm not saying anything, please don't say the thing, that's me saying give up on your twin flame journey. I'm just saying when it becomes your sole focus, it's sometimes you need to take a step back and think, I got here because of my twin flame journey, but being a twin is not all who I am. So it was a good reminder for me yesterday um, to realise that, you know, I'm proud of being a twin flame. I've had such a beautiful journey. It's been a true blessing for me. I've learned so much on my twin flame journey and it's just, I'm now at a point in my life where I can honestly take a breath in and go, I made it. I made it. I completed my twin flame journey and now whatever happens, there's love. I love, I love him. He loves me and I just have to leave it up to God now and Whatever it is meant to be is meant to be. But as far as I'm concerned, I'm here to be more than just a twin flame. And whatever happens, if it's to be with my twin in the 3D, I know we will, we will achieve a lot. And I know we will achieve so much together. And if I have to carry on pushing forward, flying solo like I have been, then equally I'm able to do that as well. So whatever happens, um. I'm just leaving it up to God now. But I know I know I've made it. I know I've made it for my own benefit. I've and every day I'm still on this healing journey. But someone just I just want everyone to know who's for who's watching when we just make, make all our focus our twin flame journey and focus on just that we are twin flames, we forget that we're so much more than that. And divine feminines especially. We carry a lot of burdens. We we literally get ten of swords, but then we 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 got the ten of wands to carry, and then we have to try and heal. We have to try and release all the the negativity. We have to love our shadow. We have to love all the things that we've not liked about ourselves in the past. We've had to learn to love it. We've had to we've had to learn to love ourselves completely and utterly, without question. We've had to give ourselves unconditional love. So we should all give ourselves a pat on the back for that alone. For getting here, for still still being so open to love and unconditionally loving our twin, showing love and compassion to other people despite the struggles we've all been through. So this for me is a, is a moment to celebrate how far we've all come. Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine, we've all come so far on our journeys and I think that's something to be proud of but we are more than just a twin flame we are warriors of God for a start we're all here to do something amazing for God so and speaking of that I forgot my prayer last night <laughs> naughty me I've actually got it right here in the bit of paper so I'm hoping that my guides remind me to do it so let's see where we go with this and that's an, it's bugging me but that's so oh like like an ocean needs a wave no like a it's something about like an ocean needs a wave, like a something needs a um I don't know, it's I I it's not a song or but I just know it's the lyrics are like a something needs a something, like a, a desert needs the rain, like a if anyone recognises those lyrics, <laughs> please let me know because I can't get it. So let's begin. Um, I don't, I hope you've all had a really good day. I had a really good day. I went for, yeah, I, I was quite naughty because yesterday and today I haven't been doing any personal readings, so I'm so sorry. Um, and if you've emailed me, I am going to be responding. Um, I just, you, as you can imagine, I get quite a lot of long emails, which I'm really happy about. I love that people share their journeys with me. 
but they do take time to apply to. Um, and I've got, um, I'll get back to doing my personal readings tomorrow. So anyone who's requested one, I will get round to it over the next couple of days. But yeah, we went to, my kids and I went to a beautiful cat cafe today and it was amazing. It was the cutest place ever and there was like 12 cats. And me and my three kids, we all love animals. So going to a cat cafe was a perfect little afternoon out. And then we didn't just go for a, for the afternoon with the cats. We decided to go for dinner as well. So it was we had we had a very nice day, um, and it's just lovely. The sun was shining, and I just felt so happy and so blessed for to have my three wonderful children. So let's see where do we want to go? Can I get some energy um, coming through here for the Twin Flame Collective? Let's do a quick check in for the Twin Flame Collective. That's too many. Quick check in please the Twin Flame Collective. Page of Fire. Good news is on the way. Yep, I'm about to sneeze. <coughs> oh, that was so weird. I just said good news and I felt a sneeze coming on. Good news is on the way. So that's a start. New fresh energy coming in. Somebody's feeling motivated. But somebody has a hop, skip and a jump. <laughs> they could be feeling like this child here on this picture. Somebody is feeling... I feel that somebody is like... I'm trying to think of the word. Like just free. <laughs> and I'm hearing the word... No, it's an, it's, it's an old word for feeling happy and joyful. But somebody is feeling gay and joyful. Um, now this could be someone who is literally feeling gay, but I think it's more gay as in um, happy. So this could be somebody who uses terms, older terms like that. Oh, I feel so gay with happiness or something. I, I don't know, but I'm hearing the term. I feel so, yeah. And yeah, someone, yes. Somebody feels so gay with joy. This is this, I think that was a, a word used before, um, before obviously gay was used for um, you know, a, a same sex connection. But for a fire, somebody. Somebody's so excited. I am feeling just elation. I just feel, you know, like um, like Tigger or Zebedee or something, somebody just bouncing up and down. I don't know, I'm just feeling raw excitement, um, energy. Somebody is really, uh, somebody's excited to come forward to you here, whoever you are. Who is this, please? Who is this page of fire um, energy that's coming through here? so strange that I'm getting that word gay it's like um yeah somebody feels so gay but um I mean it could mean they're feeling gay but I do think it's happiness I've never heard that expression used not in this lifetime <laughs> for me um because I think it's an old word for joy and I feel that someone's using it for joy but it's like an old word it's so weird queen of fire now, I don't know if this is a Queen of Fire coming in here or someone's heading towards a Queen of Fire. Chariot, somebody's heading towards a Queen of Fire. I, I, the only word I can say for this is somebody is ready for action. And... And I mean in all fronts, like I'm talking about passion, excitement, but somebody who also wants to show you romance. I mean, the four of fire is twin flame union. Messenger of earth and six of fire. I mean, seriously, this offer is going to lead to some sort of victorious outcome. Now, whoever I'm talking to here, you could be expecting this or you're not expecting it. Because that is, I honestly, um, 
That is one thing I heard in my meditation yesterday. Love comes in when you least expect it. Now, I don't know who that was for, but I heard that. So this could be, this Queen of Fire here could not be expecting this. <laughs> Five of Water. That's the first negative card I've had. But it's not really a negative for me because somebody regrets something they did in the past. All the rest of these cards up until the Five of Water has been beautiful. So let's see why the Five of Water is here. Why the Five of Water for this person's feelings? Why the Five of Water for this person's feelings? I think I know, but I'm going to just get the clarity. Yeah. They walked away. I going to say this person, this person sabotaged this connection in some way, which is not a surprise. It's a, that's a, a classic twin flame manoeuvre, isn't it? They can't handle the intensity of their feelings, can't handle the intensity of the love. You're mirroring each other. So, you know, this person walked away. They regret walking away because they're now bouncing back like Tigger. And this person has went through some sort of transformation. Yeah, look, fortune's wheel. It's time. I've just heard it's time. It's go time. <laughs> this person has been waiting for some sort of sign. This person has been waiting for, this is divine timing. This person has been waiting for the divine timing to come back. Yeah, there's been, look, patience and five of air, balance. Now this is all about, see the, um, I mean, the five of air for me in the traditional is five of swords, which is somebody who, who you know, it was like fighting a losing battle. They knew they were never, ever going to win. And, but it's also, that's to do with the mind, like fighting a losing battle with your mind because air is mind energy thought energy so this person has been battling with their own mind and they had to get the balance back they had to stop overthinking and it has taken some patience and some time here i mean that's sort of temperance energy um i mean there is a lot of fire here i mean six of fire fortune wheel four of fire um the full is aries as well Page of fire at the start. This is this is fire and water with one card of air. Yeah, this person they sabotage this connection. Aquarius energy, you are their wish fulfillment. You are their wish fulfillment. I need your love like a desert. Needs the rain. I can't, this is the song I'm hearing and I don't know what song it is. I need your love like a desert needs. I don't know if it's a country song or something. I'm not very good at these sort of American country songs. Um, I just know it's like a something needs a something. <laughs> Sounds like a great song, doesn't it? Like a something needs a something. <laughs> Hermit. Virgo energy. It's the first bit of earth we've had through as well. Oh no, we've had the mess with the messenger of earth too. This person had to do some major soul searching. I feel that they've went through something. Has this, has this person went through a dark night of the soul? Has this um, person went through um, an awakening? Page of air. This person, I feel, is coming in with some sort of message to tell you there's been a huge upheaval in their life, some sort of change. Now it could be they've left a marriage. It could be they've, oh, the world card's here. Yeah, something's ended out. There's a message coming in here. This person wants to tell you, this is what the page of fire is. This is good news about something they've closed out. They've closed out a karmic cycle. They've closed out 
closed out a karmic cycle. This is, they've closed out something that was keeping them stuck, some sort of karmic energy or karmic behaviour pattern. So whether this was someone who um, wouldn't commit but they just wanted regular hookups or something, or this is, this is, sorry, Roxy wants into their water. Here you go, Roxy. Here you water then. Here you water. Um, so yeah, this was someone who, this was this is also ego, fear, insecurity. Now we know this person did sabotage this connection, but it was because of something to do. Now this is this is basically just um, devil energy, and this is shadow side energy. So either this person, sorry, you know the dog drinking her water. I feel bad because I've had the heating on, so she always needs to drink. So this was either. Yeah, I feel this person's been in their shadow side here because they have been going, um, this person's been in hermit mode, dark night of the soul, because they've been dealing with a shadow side. Um, uh, but I do feel they had to release some sort of karmic cycle, which I do believe is closed out with the world card. They could have been connected to a Capricorn as well, because um, this represents Capricorn. Um, Messenger of Fire. Or your person could be a Capricorn messenger fire. So this is um, this is basically somebody who's wanting to come in here now with a very passionate approach. But I don't believe it's just all about the passion here because we have the full card. So they want a sort of leap of faith. There is the four of wands, which is twin flame union card or union. Um, I would like to see more cups out here, and not the ones to do with regret. <laughs> so let's see. This person's returning in a very passionate way, but can you tell me, tell me what this person truly wants from this connection? Okay, okay, yeah, like this, sorry, that's a bit just went back to me. Um, this person definitely sabotaged this connection. Four of water, ten of air. So, yeah, this, this person knows they've made a huge, a huge mistake here. They, I feel, so I'll, I'll tell you what I'm just sort of feeling intuitively coming through here. This person probably said a lot of things they regret. They probably um, purposely went back to an ex or something like that just to prove that I mean, I'm kind of getting somebody who's who is very stubborn, who was adamant that they weren't going to offer you a commitment and they possibly went back to a comfort zone with someone who indulged them in this energy. So, um, tell me a bit more about this person. That's what I'm feeling. This person went back to an energy that indulged their shadow yeah i told you there's been some sort of life-changing event has happened to this person this is like an epiphany moment this is like um as i've not said it for a while but this is like them their their shake them to wake them card that um you know the divine literally wakes the masculine up and gets them onto the three of wands energy here where they're actually planning forward movement away from a karmic situation or karmic cycle I do feel this masculine purposely sabotage this connection. Almost like if you said, for example, if you said, for example, you know, I've never felt this way. I, I, you know, I think we can have a future together. Um, you know, I think we can build a life together. And your person's been like, no, I'm not interested in that. Um, and it's almost like to prove how much he didn't want to be interested in that, he went back to a situation. Um, where I feel that is what put him through his tower. Or he's went back to an old, he's went back to whatever this temptation was from their past. Um, whether it was like an ex or somebody that they were connected to, I'm not sure, but. Um, messenger of air, yeah, he's, there's some sort of fast movement towards you here with this person wants to come in and speak their truth to you of some kind. I 
because this person left this temptation energy behind. King of Air. Now this is communication coming in. The messenger of air with the King of Air followed straight after. You could be dealing with a new sign as well, but this tells me there's someone coming in here. They're coming in quickly and they want to come in and communicate something honest. An honest conversation of some kind. Tell me what this person's hoping for, if they can have this heart-to-heart -heart conversation here. I mean, the King of Swords as a communicator. You want a new cycle with you? <laughs> the cute little orb just shot. up. They want communication with you. I mean, they want a new cycle with you, but they want to communicate that to you, that they want um, a, a new cycle with you. They want to begin a new cycle in the right way this time. There's something they need to reveal to you. And I'm going to find out what it is. Tell me why the moon card's here, please. <laughs> they want to reveal to you that they've made a decision. But also, this is my spiritual awakening card. This is my um, this is my answering the call. As you see, it's called it says call at the bottom here. This is somebody who's been wakened up by the divine and they've answered the call. So this person now wants to reveal to you, I'm not who I used to be. I'm now awake to this connection. And I now know that I fell into some sort of temptation that took me away from you and made me sabotage this connection. Yeah, justice. This person wants to bring justice back to this connection. They want to bring justice back to this relationship. Yeah. Two of Earth. There's definitely, there's been a lot of unbalanced energy throughout this um, connection because I feel you're the one who is giving all the love. Maybe the one taking all the love, but they couldn't actually bring themselves to give it back. Four of air. Yeah, this person could have ghosted you or just went silent on you. But I think it's because they were in hermit mode. So there's a king of fire who is now using his intuition. He could have been silent for a while as well, or he's still silent with you right now. Because this can be this can be happening right now in real time. This I mean, Four of Air and High Priestess and the King of Wands. This person could be feeling passionate about you and desperate to be with you, but they're they're not telling you that right now, for whatever reason. Why is this um, King of Fire being quiet right now? Queen of Water. Now, either this person um, is still connected to a Queen of Water or this is telling me this person's purposely been quiet because they know they know you love them and they're wanting to make sure they're fully ready to come back and offer you that commitment. But also this tells me this person is being quiet because they know you're very intuitive. They know they cannot return to you unless they are fully ready to offer you something um, that's honest and truthful and you because I think they know you can see right through them. This person knows you're how you could be um, very psychic or have all the clears or something. This person knows and I think that's why they're being quiet right now because I, I think they're not wanting to say too much until they're fully ready to open up. Um, is this why, clarify why the Queen of Waters, why this King of Wands has been quiet. Why this King of Wands been quiet? Okay. <laughs> I think this masculine, look, Hanged man and strength. I don't know where this masculine is trying to like get the strength up to come forward because they're kind of feeling a bit stuck over the situation or it's 
So I am just trying to listen of why the Queen of Water to the strength and the, the hanged man. Of why this King of Wands is silent right now with you. They could just be trying to find a strength to get themselves out of this energy. If this person, this person could be, this person could be keeping themselves stuck in this energy right now. And they're needing the courage to get out of this. This king of water could be pur purposely keeping things stagnant because they've not got the courage to come forward yet. Is this King of Water purposely keeping this connection hanged man energy until they get the courage here? Eight of Air. This it's because they're working on themselves. This King of Fire is working on themselves right now. They're working to get their courage up and stuff like that. So they're keeping they're not coming forward now. They're their Divine Feminine could be a Pisces, of course, with the Hanged Man being there. But I do feel this King of Fire is purposely keeping the Hanged Man energy in this connection because they're not quite ready to give you a commitment. But they're not ready to let you go either. Because they love you. And they want a new beginning with you. But they're purposely keeping... Um, they're not telling you they love you because then they'll think that you, you expect them to step up straight away. So for whatever reason, this is a very complicated reading. <laughs> Ten of water, six of air. Now this, this can be one of two things for me because the two of fires behind that. This person could have, could, could be having to move away from a family situation to come towards you that could have kept them stuck. Um... This, this connection is their happiness. They, they might just want to walk, uh, walk. They might be, they might love to walk, <laughs> but they might just want to move this connection to calmer waters. But what, what is actually keeping this kind of fire from, from saying that they love this? Queen of Fire, what is keeping this counterparts? What is keeping this King of Fire from telling this Queen of Fire how he feels? I just want to get a clear answer on that. Tell me. Five of Fire. They're dealing with conflict of some kind. Um clarify conflict for this King of Fire. Seven of Earth. This is the they've invested interest um in another situation, and there's now conflict. So whatever they've invested in, in the past, or whoever they've invested in, in the past, but this person, you they see nothing but happiness for you. But there is a good news coming in. And we have the four of fire and the six of fire. So this person regrets sabotaging their connection with you and probably investing in the wrong thing. Yeah, king of water. This person, this king of fire energy here is coming in emotional. Yeah. Love. Yeah, they love you. Is this person going to be able to get... Um, free of whatever this situation is whatever this conflict is to move towards a feminine I mean we've got the page of fire so there's definitely good news coming in and there's been some sort of um, change occurred but this person wants to tell you their good news I think that I honestly think this person's just staying quiet because I think they want two of fire ace of fire They're not, they're, they, they don't know which way to go right now for whatever reason, hold on. 
please clarify. Please clarify if this King of Fire loves this energy. What? Nine of Fire. And the King of Earth. So I should tell me this person is exhausted. They might be working overtime to sort of build up their material wealth before they can come back and offer you something here in the King of Earth. This is, they want to come. I mean, all I can tell you is there's love here. You are this person's happiness. This person wants to come in here and offer you something really beautiful. They love you. They're emotional about you. They're finding the courage here. Um, I mean, they want a, the fool with the second card out. They want a new beginning. They want to take a leap of faith to you. They want the four of wands with you. But I feel there's something about this um, person's um, insecurities or something is holding this person back despite their love for you. Four of Earth and Nine of Air. Yeah, this, this is this person's insecurities. It's like they're holding on to you, but they, they're, they're, it's like their guilt from the past is stopping them from coming in to offer you anything. But they're not willing to like go either. It's almost like they're, you know, it's like, I mean, the Four of Earth is kind of, like the Four of Cups and the Four of Earth is kind of passive aggressive to me. It's like somebody who doesn't want you but doesn't want to let you go. It's somebody who values money over love. But this person is stuck in their head over this. This person could, you know, they could be focusing on their career right now to try and better themselves. But I think they're, they're fooling themselves as well because they could be saying they're doing this for you. But at the same time, they're just doing it, I think, to stop thinking about you. Sorry, this is a really weird message tonight, but... This person is wanting to come in. Yeah, seven of fire. Defensiveness. This person is just all over the place. I, I can tell you this person loves you, regrets how they treated you, regrets hurting you, regrets betraying you, regrets ghosting you. They want you, they want a new beginning, they want to come in and tell you some good news but they're holding back and it's like they, they're so they feel so guilty about the past but they're also being defensive of letting their guard down to tell you they love you that's why the, the strength card's there oh this this guy or gal <laughs> this whoever this so messenger of water yeah look there's some this is a romantic offer coming in I feel this person is this close to contacting you. Page of Fire is a message of good news. This person is like teetering on the edge of coming in to look to the fire. They're keeping themselves in this to the fire energy. This person wants a new beginning with you. This person wants to tell you they love you. They want to bring in a romantic offer. They want to express their love. Two of Earth and Page of Fire. So this person is trying to get up the courage. They're trying to get balance in their emotions. I mean, with the Five of Earth, that's trying to balance out their thoughts. This person has just purposely sabotaged. This, this is a, a serial sabotager. A serial self-sabotager. Um, they just sabotage all the good things in their life. So let's see. Yeah, page of water. That's this person is going to this person is going to come in with some sort of message of good news to say. This this person's definitely went through an awakening of some kind. They went through some sort of dark night of the soul soul awakening because we got the call card. But for some reason they're really stuck in their head. But this page of water is someone that they're they're going to come in and say. I'm sorry for, look, Ace of Fire, Ace of Water. 
this person, when this person finds the courage here to come in in this page of water, messenger of water, and actually express their truth to you, that they love you. And look at all these, all the turquoise in these cards. Throat chakra colours. This person has to express their love for you. And when they do, six of air. This connection is going to move swiftly to the next level very, very quickly. Tell me what will happen when this person can finally come in here and have the courage to confess their truth. Ten of fire, queen of fire. So they can, the queen of fire here can finally like, go with the burdens because I feel this queen of fire is totally confused by her masculine's actions. She might feel that he, you know, he loves her, but yet he still runs, he still sabotages the connection. So the Queen of Fire will actually be able to finally release all the burdens that she's carrying, which is a bonus, <laughs> which is a very good thing. Let me see. Well, yeah, the Queen of Fire has been so patient in this situation. She could, she could be an easily massage, but it just means she's sitting in her kind of very passionate energy. But she's been very patient with someone who showed her no love or commitment in return. She's been very patient considering she's been rejected time and time again here by this person because they like to self-sabotage every connection. Six of Earth and Queen of Air. So this Queen of Fire has been kind of a bit closed off here because of this masculine's lack of give and take in the past. Um... How is this feminine going to feel when her masculine finally comes in and opens up and confesses? Okay. So it's just saying when this... So it's just saying conflict caused this masculine to walk away. Remember I asked what was causing this masculine not to return? Conflict. So this masculine... When this masculine walked away from his queen of fire here, he walked straight into... Conflict. Yeah. And now he's having some sort of emotional breakdown. It's so strange because at the start of the reading I felt this energy come in like a, a, a new puppy, like a golden retriever on steroids. And then now I'm feeling his his um, trepidation and lack of confidence again. So that's, I feel that's kind of energy this masculine's been in. Two of wands, two of pentacles, two of air. One minute he's like, yeah, 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 I'm going for it, I'm going for it, I'm going for it. I'm going to go and get my divine feminine. I'm going to get on that chariot. And then the next minute he's like turning the engine off again, like, oh, do you know what? Maybe not, maybe I shouldn't, maybe I shouldn't. That's the energy I'm getting. This person wants it, wants it, wants it, loves you, wants to, you know, grab the bull by the horns and step up and be the masculine, be the emperor you need. And then they're just falling flat again. Um, seven of water and nine of earth. So this person definitely has a fear of leaving a single life behind. Um, they have a fear of leaving a single life and leaving the opportunity to to date other people or hook up with other people that has definitely been an issue for this person it could definitely be to do with past lives of karmic past lives as well yeah they've been completely re resisting this connection that's why i'm feeling this is a battle within and the feminine will be feeling it she'll be feeling it her one minute she could begin songs for a masculine, saying I love you, you know, love songs from their masculine. And then the next day, it feels like the masculine's a thousand miles away, energetically. Like, they could just close out the telepathic connection or whatever. Um, that's what I feel. Yeah, four of air. This, four of air, two of air, <laughs> king of fire. This is someone passionate who loves this feminine. They love this feminine, but yet they cannot build up the courage to come forward here. And they know they have to bring justice to this connection. They know they have to speak their truth. They know they have messed this feminine energy around enough. Yeah. 
communications coming in and this person's going to finally speak their truth. And I think this is going to be when you least expect it. So if you recognise this reading, don't wait for it. Don't go, oh yeah, that's my person, that's my that's my masculine. They're going to come in here and speak the truth to me any day now. Go, sounds very like my story. If they come in to do, deliver this message, I'm open to listening. I'm open to hearing what they have to say. I'm open to a new beginning because I do feel there's a new beginning coming in here with the Eight of Fire. If this King of Fire and this Queen of Fire can go over this past situation, is there a chance for this cycle, this new cycle to work, please? Yeah, this person, look, King of Earth, Two of Cups. <laughs> if this person just gets out their own dang head, look, Hanged Man and Queen of Water. I mean, as I say, they could be dealing with someone with Pisces in their chart, but this, it just tells me this person, they, they're stopping themselves coming forward, even though they know this woman loves them. They are holding themselves back here. They're keeping themselves stuck. Transformation. They're going through some sort of transformation. Yeah, look, whatever this temptation was, it put them through a tower. It's just ego, pride. Yeah, six of water, something maybe to do with their childhood. Some sort of childhood wounding that they've not healed from. But this just tells me this person has got some sort of powerful past life connection to you. And but they're this person adores you. They really do. And it's such a shame that they're allowing this ego energy here to get in the way. Holding, I mean, I don't know, holding a grudge against love or something. I don't know. But, yeah. So, four of air, three of water. This masculine's determination here, this stubbornness, because I do feel stubborn. It's like somebody putting a putting the pentacle as we see in the original four of um pentacles. That's someone putting a four of that's some saying, No, you're not getting near my heart. No. And that has stopped this three of cups coming in. This king of fire refused, point blank, resisted this connection, refused to let go of their options, refused to let go of their single life. Despite the fact they love you. Which is a shame. And I hope that this communication, this Eight of Wands, um, Ace of Air, is actually going to push you both into a new cycle. Yeah, Four of Fire. If this person can get out of their head here, this is going to be a beautiful, passionate, fiery collaboration. A powerful twin flame union one that is going to actually there i mean there definitely could have been a capricorn in the mix here um but this is going this is going to be a very powerful connection two very powerful magicians here manifestors and it was just this masculine's determination and stubbornness and pride and ego like very Beauty and the Beast energy. Yeah, to your fire. There is some sort of plans here to move forward on the chariot. This person knows you are their empress. They know you are their divine counterpart. They know with you there's nothing but happiness and goodness and joy and feeling so gay. Because <laughs> I just keep on hearing, I feel so gay. <laughs> I don't know where, I don't honestly don't know where I'm getting the term I feel so gay from, but I'm hearing that. But I'm, it's definitely gay as in joy. I know there's anything wrong with saying I feel gay in other ways. I mean, everyone's entitled to feel gay if they wish to feel gay. But I mean, this is more a gay feeling, joy gay. Um, somebody is feeling so much joy. Or there will be with this um, page of fire. 
I'm so sorry, this has been a very strange message, but the energies have literally been all over the place. I mean, it's it started, as I say, it started out like golden retriever who was ready to hump a leg, and then I, you know, then it turned into some sort of little timid kitten who was hiding behind someone's, you know, table or something. It was just, there's definitely, yeah, when this person finally gets the courage here to reveal this truth to you about how they feel and confess their emotions to you, six of fire. I mean, this is two powerful manifestors who have been together for probably hundreds of lifetimes. Yeah, transformation has taken place. And again, six of water, this is something that had to happen. Hermit and eight of pain. This person definitely could have been working overtime just to try and... Um, yeah, just to try and make make them not think about you too much. But the four of fires here in the bottom again and the seven of fires. So this person has resisted this twin flame union with every single <laughs> ounce of energy they had. That's probably why they're on the night of fire now. Because they're just depleted because they've been trying to fight this connection. Um, but I've, they've answered the call now from what I can tell. They have stepped up and they have answered the call. So... Let's get some zodiac signs. I thought this one would be a short reading. <laughs> yeah, look, this connection's heading towards union. When this person just gets out of their blooming head. Oh, Aries, so we did get a lot of fire. Powerful fire energy coming through. And rams are notoriously stubborn. Two of my children are Aries. Oh my gee. <laughs> when they go at it, it's like the horns. <laughs> I mean, it's just, so yeah, I know how stubborn Aries can be. Um, Divine timing, sorry Aries. <laughs> Divine timing has definitely been in work. And remember, I, I I got the energy from the cards at the start saying, it's, now's the time. This is a very spiritual connection and you're both very um, spiritual, magical beings. Yeah, Cupid's arrow is out and I'm sorry. Cupid's arrow does not miss. So King of Fire. Is this all you want? It ain't going to last forever. You cannot run from your divine feminine. So wish fulfillment is coming in for this couple when they finally get their their acts together. Well, sorry, when the master gets their act together. Either way, I feel the feminine will probably um, be having a beautiful life out of this regardless. So, so Scorpio. So definitely somebody could have some, we did get a lot of fire and water. There is some sort of olive branch coming out, a divinely guided olive branch possibly, because that came out at the same time. So Aries and Scorpio, any other signs please? Any other signs and I'm going to get a unicorn card. Any other signs? Where you can, anything else you can tell me about this connection? Oh! Where did that go? You only like the one on the floor down here, don't you? <laughs> so, yeah, somebody is definitely healing from possibly, I was de definitely feeling um, childhood issues or um, childhood wounds or something like that. This person, I, I do feel this person was really kind of down with love. Sagittarius, so I definitely felt a lot of Sag energy. Um, somebody could be trying to move or relocate oh that's far too many infinity symbol card came out so oops and the twin flame union card but i'll put that back in that come out again so this is infinity symbol so something about this year is very significant for this twin flame connection but it's also very powerful and it's undeniable love and that's the thing i mean they say like you know twin flames have got free will and we do have free will but the love never goes anywhere. So even if, I mean, as I say, I'm at the point now where I know my person loves me and I love them. And if God feels it's right for us to be together in the 3D, then that would be amazing because we have an undeniable love and connection for each other. But Free Will says that he, you know, if he chooses to, to remain in his karmic situations, then that's his free will but I know that the love will never ever go away and 
that's the same with this situation. This this masculine has definitely tried to run and you know not face up to the fact that he loves his feminine. He's tried to stubbornly cling on to his, you know, his single life or his whatever his temptation ways are. But he's realising that the love's actually not going anywhere. It's still there. It's like, it's still there in stasis. It doesn't go anywhere. The love just gets stronger and stronger and stronger. And the more you're in separation with your person, the love just deepens more and more and more. So, yes, we have free will. Of course we do. But will, will we ever be able to to forget about a person fully? No, because the love never, ever goes away. Um... So a 10-10 card, there is some sort of new cycle. We saw the world. So this person is hoping for a new cycle in love here with you. I think you're both going to be doing something highly spiritual together, maybe a spiritual business, and um, maybe something like this. You'll both have a channel together or something, but there's some sort of spiritual mission or business or something you're supposed to do together. This is a fated connection. So absolutely, there's nothing... Um. You know, whatever happens here, the outcome's going to be the same because as I've, I always say, you can you can change your destiny. You can choose different paths and things like that and change up your destiny. But fate, you can. If you have made an agreement with your twin and there's like a, there's some sort of agreement that both both twins have made in past lives or whenever they decided to to become a twin flame couple, I mean, this is pre-Atlantis, because, I mean, Atlantis was where a lot of the twin flames got separated. Um, whatever agreement has been made between twin flames, it's a fated connection. And it's whatever happens, no matter how much you, f you fight the, the pull towards each other, it's a highly magnetic, sacred connection. And it is always fated to come back around. Whether you decide to actually, you know, marry in the 3D, live together in the 3D, you're always bound to be together. And, you know, your your love for each other will always keep you bound to each other, regardless. And it doesn't matter how much you run. <laughs> it's like um, you see in those... Um, these game shows like Takeshi's Castle and things and they're trying to run, they've got the big bungee thing stuck to their back. Um, this, that's what it's like, no matter how much your runner tries to run from the connection and tries not to give in to their love for their Divine Feminine, that bungee will always pull them right back. They can't escape it. There definitely was a Capricorn in the midst because I was getting Capricorn energy come through quite strongly. Um, the engagement ring wants to come out, so there's definitely some sort of higher level of commitment coming in when this person finally gets in this Aries masculine or something. Aries or Sag masculine gets the, the courage up. Powerful manifestors. I'm telling you, this couple are powerful manifestors. Um, Aquarius. So we, we did get the star as well. So, so all the, the signs I'm pulling here can be Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising placements. Sometimes it can be all <laughs> signs in your chart. So just, just take it as it resonates if this is applying. The universe and Pisces. So I did get a lot of Pisces with the hangman. So the universe is definitely trying to pull this connection together as well. Pisces, there's definitely um, a twin flame union here. This is balancing out the energy. This is, um, yep. And there's balance with Libra as well. We dig the justice card a lot. Um, anything else? Anything else for this connection? <clears throat> yeah, runner. Your twin flame runner could have been a Virgo. But this this just tells me they could have also just means they were in hermit mode. Um and Gemini and Cancer could be significant to certain placements. So Pisces, Aquarius, Aries, Scorpio. Sagittarius and Libra are the main signs that come out. Oh, and Capricorn. So, 
that's what we have. Now I'm going to get um, a unicorn card, I'll get a song card. I still can't believe I managed to make it an hour and this is supposed to be a quick reading. <laughs> I'm going to have to go and walk the dog before I do my healing video. Um, so let's see, put that one there. Let's get a unicorn card. Since I'm going to do a beautiful unicorn message for afterwards. I know I need to remember and do my prayer as well. Do not forget your prayer this time, Marlene. Do not forget it. Because it's really, I, I love doing a prayer once um, I do my own kind of, whenever I've done my own meditations and things, and especially in the morning, it's really nice to say a little closing prayer just to ground in the love and the energy and the intention behind the message. So can I get some unicorn cards, please? It best depicts this situation. So uncord relationships. So let go, so sorry, let go now, forgiveness is freedom. Okay, the masculine definitely could have to forgive something from their past. They have to uncord a relationship from their past. Now this could have been someday from their childhood. There's something this masculine has to un cut the cords with the past. I feel that's what's stopping them to move forward for feminine. Shower of blessings. Open yourself up to receive and pay it forward. Now I love this card because I always and I always talk about Andrew Carnegie, who became very wealthy, then gave away a lot of his wealth to other people to then build up their own legacies with their own families and things. And he's still renowned a lot of the things he invested in and gave people money for. So this couple are about to receive lots of financial blessings of some kind, but they're going to also use it to bring blessings to other people's lives in some way. So that is amazing. So creative solutions. Think outside the box. View things from a higher perspective. And we saw the hanged man numerous times. So somebody is starting to see things from a different perspective. I feel this is some sort of creative inspiration that's coming into this masculine as well. Possibly the feminine too. So create your vision. Do what makes your heart sing. You are being, you are being nudged forward. So definitely this masculine has kept himself stuck too long. Um... The unicorn energies are definitely clearly trying to say that the, the masculine has really kept himself stuck for too long and it's time that he started to allow himself to heal and move forward. Um, you know, I do feel powerful manifestors from both of this couple and I think their vision is definitely needed for the, the future. Divine potential, yeah, they've got... They're powerful manifestors and I think they're required to, that's why they're being gently pushed forward. So divine potential, fulfill your destiny, be all you're supposed to be. So that's why this masculine is getting nudged so much to return to their feminine. This couple have something they're supposed to be doing here for, for the greater good. It's not even just about, it's not even just about being a twin flame couple anymore this couple are definitely meant to be doing something together for the greater good of humanity or something um rose gold cosmic portal sorry rose gold where am i getting portal from <laughs> what's just not about portal rose gold cosmic pool bathe in cosmic bathe in the cosmic love and soak up the wisdom so there's lots of wisdom being sent um to the masculine at this time so, Mahatma energy, build your light body, accelerate your, your ascension. So, the masculine is going through this powerful ascension right now. Um, that's where why we got the transformation card. And last but not least, the violet flame. So, it says, invoke the cosmic diamond of the violet flame, transmuting all that is not love. So, this masculine definitely has to let go of resentment and stuff. Now this could have been simply somebody from his past that he had kids with who left him cold or he had a family with that left him cold or something. Remember we've got the Ten of Cups and the Six of Swords. The, this masculine could definitely be just moving on from a family situation that just never 
supported them as a person but this person could, I, I do feel there's something about this person that they're so scared of commitment because of a past situation yeah creative solutions card wants to come out again I am presence expand your stellar gateway I am all that I am so being present is the key as well to your twin flame union being present every day enjoying each day as it comes in the now live in the now for the moment that is the key as well to pushing things forward in your connection but think outside the box view things from a higher perspective so this masculine has been definitely pushed to try it and understand why things have happened the way they have um and why they've why that has been the way things have turned out like why his why what i mean by that is why he isn't the energy he's in now and they're, they're asking him to kind of look at things from a different perspective like why is he so closed off even though he feels the way he does um i don't want a lover see I'll, I'll read that card in a minute this person definitely has a fear of commitment some sort of emotional intimacy islands in the stream so you guys definitely have been you know struggling to get it together for a while is this love by white snake this person doesn't know that's why there's all the confusion that's why this person's like, I love, I love my feminine. I'm going to go in the chat and go and tell them that. And then they're going, but wait, is it love? Is it love? Is it infatuation? They don't know. <laughs> oh. oh my goodness. Run to you. I believe, what did I say earlier? This is Beauty and the Beast energy. This person will not let down their guard. Or at least they didn't. Because the future outcome is communication, Ace of Swords, Fool, Page of Fire. There's some sort of good message, message of good news coming in here. But this person did not want to let down their guard to you. Um... So let me see. I'll read these out quickly. Um, this is overall energy coming through for the songs. So, um, <clears throat> so this card. So I don't want a lover by Texas. This card comes out when someone is recovering from a bad relationship. Exactly. That's what I feel. Maybe it was a very maybe it was very karmic in nature and left them energetically and emotionally depleted. And that's what I feel as well. Whenever I hear this song, it speaks to me of the narcissist empath dynamic. So if you've been if you've been dealing with anyone like that in a relationship, take time to heal. So this could be your person. There's a light at the end of the tunnel. You are stronger than you realise. So this person is definitely recovering from some sort of karmic situation that left them cold to love. And that's why they've been so resistant. Because I think they thought they loved someone in the past and it turned out to be very karmic. So now they're like, is this love? Am I going to make the same mistake again? That's kind of what I feel. Um, Islands in the Stream by obviously the wonderful Kenny Rogers, RIP and Dolly Parton. When I hear this song, it makes me think of friends that become lovers after a long period of time being with other people. So what I mean is this is like, like you're with someone else and they're with someone else, but you're still... Um, friends but you can't be any more than friends because you're with other people but there's love there um so this could have been someone who you've been toing and froing with for a while and you've both always been in different connections and things but still always want to come back together um so when they finally become single and open their heart again they realize they have been two islands in a stream always side by side and made for each other all this time if you get this card you could be elevating a close friendship with someone to the next level which is going to be true love so this is just saying two people that have always loved each other but one never took the steps to to elevate it from friendship to true love until now so is this love by white snake this card is a sign that whoever you're connected to is struggling to figure out their feelings for you right now this person may have experienced love before and it, 
It could even stem from their upbringing or their childhood. But your person is doing their best to go within to understand the strong emotions they feel for you right now. They want to know if it's love they're feeling for you because they can't stop thinking about you. And this sums up the entire reading for me, what I felt. This person loves you. They love you so much. It's an ace of cups, two of cups situation. They want union with you, but they're scared that it's not love. Because they've thought they've been in love before and they get really badly hurt. So this person, that's why there's this on-off energy. Like, I'm coming back, I'm not coming back, I'm coming back, I'm not coming back. They're scared. That's why they need the courage. And that's why we got the hanged man and the courage card. They need the courage to get out of this hanged man energy. Um, I believe by Yolanda Adams. When you listen to this song, play it loud and shout to the skies. I believe because anything is truly possible when you believe. There was a time when I thought magic was only something we read about in fairy tales, stories and saw in the movies. But when you open up to the possibilities and have faith in the impossible, faith that your prayers, dreams and wishes can all come true, <coughs> watch the magic unfold in your life. Your guardian angels will surround you when you dance and sing this song with joy in your heart. And it's true. When you dance and sing that song with joy in your heart, expect lots of loving energy around you. Run To You by Brian Adams. As catchy as this song is, it's also about a masculine who is in a loveless situation but refuses to leave their partner. Instead, he runs to his soulmate twin flame for comfort and love, something he does not get at home. Whoever you, are in this, whoever you are in this story, just take this as confirmation that things need to change. Someone needs to break the cycle in order to, to, for endings to begin. No, for endings to bring in new beginnings. So this is, your person could just be stuck if they're not in a connection with someone from their past year. They're just in, still in their energy. So they're still in their ex's energy, which means, you know, they can't let go of the past. That's why we've got the cords need to be cut from the past. And last but not least, I did feel this energy right from the start. Um, Beauty and the Beast. We all know the story about Beauty and the Beast. The Beast was actually a handsome prince under all that ego and arrogance. But it took Belle to see through his beauty, his beauty, see his beastly, it took Belle to see through his beastly persona into his soul. She saw the real him and loved him anyway, despite his appearance. This card is a sign for you that you love you love someone very deeply despite their flaws and their ego. Love can transform any situation. It works just like magic. A connection may be about to ascend to the next level all because you never gave up on love. So there we have it. As I say, a very strange message tonight. It was, I've never had that kind of energy come through where somebody was on, off, on, off and just one minute love, next minute run, next minute love. <laughs> um, and I just split the deck twice and I got um, Beauty and the Beast the twice I split the deck. So definitely this person was very much in their ego. Fear, insecurities, self-sabotage. I've never read an energy like it, but <laughs> it was interesting, but very confusing for me as well. So I feel like I, I, I need a healing session now myself for the unicorns. So I'm going to do my prayer before I close out this reading. And I hope you all have a wonderful new moon in Taurus. I'm saying that because I don't know when my healing video will upload. But hopefully sometime. Um, but hopefully the beautiful new moon in Taurus energy will help my healing session, which I'm going to do for you very soon after I've walked my dog. So let's do a prayer together to close out. This just grounds in all the beautiful energy um, that I've brought through in this reading. And we'll send um, beautiful intentions to this couple, whoever they are that this masculine can overcome um, their fears and their worries and actually come forward. So let's close out together. Wonderful counsellor, mighty God, everlasting father, prince of peace. Thank you for this time together. And as we all move on with our day, would you go ahead of us, dwell within us, shine through us, blessing all those who cross our path. God of hope, may you fill us to overflowing with all joy and peace by the power of your Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, Amen. 
So there we go. Uh, at least I remember to do it tonight. I hope it's helped and sending you all so much love. And I'll be back very soon to do your healing session. So I look forward to that. So take care, everyone. Namaste.